Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147, and I'm sneaking in a video. So, I have just finished filming tomorrow's Heaven and Earth Design video. Um, while I was filming that, we of course had our discussions as usual, which you will be able to watch tomorrow. Uh, but in those discussions, of course, we heard, well, I heard, I don't know if it came across on camera, a lunar bark um, for the door. And it was something for Megan from Amazon, but it was also my dream of designs. And in that video, I said I was expecting this next week. So I was expecting it to arrive next week because that's what the tracking told me when I first clicked on it. When it had first been shipped, it sh said an expected arrival of, I think around the 22nd, 23rd, something like that, some point next week. So I just got in my head next week um, and I didn't check it again. Well, it arrived while I was filming my Heaven and Earth Design Whip and Waffle. So one broken nail later, I decided I have to open it. So I did order two paintings. I am gonna unbox the other one. I'm gonna put it into my usual schedule. So it'll probably be a couple of weeks, but I am too excited to get in and see this one. This is the reason I placed the order. Um, it is a member of our Facebook group's fault. And I'm ever so grateful to them because this image is absolutely stunning. Now, I must say, Dreamers Designs customer service were also amazing. Um, I haven't been receiving their emails uh, and I hadn't received an email for like my last order. Turns out I had combined two of my email addresses to provide the wrong email address for the account I mainly use that my computer automatically signed me in for. So I did contact customer services. They managed to merge that account, correct the email address and actually merge another account that I happen to have um, using a correct email address. Anyway, they fixed it all for me so that I now have one account with them for purchasing. But um, they fixed it after they'd shipped it, which meant I didn't get the shipping email. So I've not had an email in my inbox to keep clicking and checking where it is. But it's made for major excitement today. But anyway, this is the talked about on my Heaven and Earth Design Whip and Waffle White Christmas painting. This is so stunning. Um, so we do get the Dreamers Designs toolkit, um, which they actually do. Oh, it's purple. I don't know if my last one was purple, but you do get quite a bit from them in their toolkit. So you do get a big tray, a fairly big tray, does have Dreamer designs on it. Looks like they're stackable. Uh, does have like a pull down for the spout. Uh, it also has a little divider if you want to have a couple of colours out at once. Uh, you get a couple of different types of pens. You get your normal with your brass placer, white glitter, and then you do get one with a full plastic tip. You get a three placer, looks like a six placer, and a straightener. Two squishies for making your pen soft. Uh, you get some black straight tweezers, two little pots of wax in this one, that might be dependent on the size, uh, and also a bag of baggies, all in this gorgeous velvet bag. But this is what I'm excited to see. I use my own tools. Oh, beautiful already. Okay, so this is White Christmas by the McNeil Studio. It is 90 centimetres by 60 centimetres. Two packs of drills. How absolutely stunning is that? Is this not a dream living room at Christmas? Fireplace, nice white couches that most of us know 
our children or pets would not allow us to keep white. Um, gorgeous garland on the fireplace, wreath above, tree, roaring fire, bunch of presents. It's those Christmas movies, isn't it? So those Christmas movies in a painting and as soon as I saw it, I actually ordered it. It's about half past 11 at night and I'm ordering it in bed. <laughs> trying to get it ordered uh, I say I did order two another one is one that my husband actually liked the image of so I decided to order that with it because they did have buy one get one 50% off um so it sort of was rude not to but oh, look there's only a little bit missing from either side of the frame but oh, I just I just want to do it uh, there is quite a bit of blockiness by the looks of it there's quite a bit of 5200 blocks here on the couch uh, and then a lot of blocking here on the wall um, on this size painting I tend to work from one side to another um, I tend to normally work from this side just because I tilt my head this way to see the symbols rather than this way um but yeah absolutely gorgeous it has 73 different colors and it actually has four a b diamonds in it so let's have a look at the a b's i mean just look look at those colors they're just beautiful sage greens beige colors I mean, I know it's not bright and colourful, which is paintings that I do also love, are the bright and colourful ones. But just these colours in themselves are just, if I could wave a wand over my house and make them all these colours, I'd be so, so happy. Uh, my battery's flashing on my camera, but I'm hoping it will let me have a look at where these ABs are. We shall see. Uh, so there's not lots of ABs, but there is a fair chunk of 08, which looks to be like the 5200 AB. We have a very little amount of blue AB. Oh, in fact, there's, there's all the ABs. So a little amount of pale yellow, a little amount of orange, a little bit of blue and some white. So let's have a look for some of these harder colours. So the pale yellow is actually down as the number three. So we have this in the fireplace. We also have just a little strap of it around this present, just one strap around this present. It's mainly in the fireplace. We have a very small amount in this gorgeous decoration here uh, in two different spots. We have a little bit up here in this flower on the fireplace. And that's, oh, and a little bit here at the bottom of this wreath. So that's where I'm seeing the three. Then we have number nine, which is this orange. And I've looked straight at the fireplace and it's actually not there. We have a little bit in the bow of this present. Uh, then we have a little bit here on one of the decorations in the tree, two over here and one up here on the decorations on the tree. And there, all the places I'm seeing the orange. Yeah, there's none over that side. Then we have this pale blue, which is a swirl. So I'm looking sort of at the key things like the wreaths and the ornaments and things like that. It always takes me a minute to find the symbol first. And then when I find the symbol, I tend to then find all the places that it is put. It's not a di it's like it's a different color on the canvas. Oh, here we go, it's in the tree. So we have some on the tips of the branch here on the tree, a little bit down here. Do we have any more in the tree? Because there's not lots of it. Yes, we have more scattered throughout the tree. So we have the pale blue primarily scattered in the tree. Now I've seen the symbol. Can I see it anywhere else? 
excuse my head if I'm coming into shot. I'm just going to check the shelf. Though there is some of the white AB on the shelf, there's not any of the blue. Oh, the fireplace is blue as well, but no, we don't have any in the fireplace. No, nope, there mainly seems to be in the tree for this blue. And then we do have quite a bit of the white AB, which is a gorgeous sparkle. That is in a lot more places. <coughs> Excuse me. Not so much on the couch, but it is definitely scattered in all these sort of star shapes on the tree and other places so it's scattered throughout the whole tree it's also scattered throughout this whole garland there are spots all the way through the habit uh, it is on all the baubles on the wreath it is also on some of these presents so some of like the bits of the bow on this present it's a little bit here on this one and there's some on this one we also have uh, this part to the side also has that AB. Again, there's none on the couch, but there is some scattered throughout this sort of vase and decoration on the side. And then it's scattered on these shelves. So what looks to be like a, I don't know whether that's a Christmas tree decoration um, but yeah, these decorations and even here, a um, couple of little bits here next to um, this deer, uh, they have some, this decoration has some AB, these um, deers have some AB, this tree has some AB. So it's just highlighted in different places, not the actual bookcase itself, that's plain white but the decorations themselves have some in. Do we have anything on the other bookcase? No, it tends to just be in the tree, which to me is a good thing. Um, AB is beautiful when it is in effect scattered, or well, there's a little bit in these stockings as well that are hanging off the mantelpiece. So your AB is mainly highlighted in the presents and the Christmas decorations more than the furniture. So that will help all those sparkle a little bit more. But isn't it stunning? Can you see why I was excited to open this up? Um, I will pop a link down for it below. It is an affiliate link. Doesn't cost you any more, uh, but it does help support that channel that little bit if you are planning on buying it anyway or if I've talked you into it because frankly it's gorgeous um yeah I need to get some of my other big paintings finished so that I can slot this one in there to have it ready so I can put it up at Christmas it's making me excited but anyway yeah sneak in that extra little video I'm going to go back to packing advents because it's a Christmas house uh, at the moment but thank you all so much for watching uh, and sharing my excitement that White Christmas is here and I'll speak to you all again soon <laughs>